Welcome. I'm so glad you're joining me. For those of you who are just starting, the Orca Swim Show is a weekly show where I bring both information about how the brain works when embarking on change, especially something that is fearful, and we take it to the lab of the swimming pool. After 30 years of teaching in the pool, it's time to hop out of the water and share how the learning works in and out of the water in the same way. The water is a perfect lab to test the learning process because you get fast and immediate feedback along with very satisfying rewards. When you focus on the needs of the brain-body connection and not just a list of skills, then you can obtain lasting and satisfying results. Our pool is a warm 92. Let's hop in and go from regret and missing out to action and freedom. So, All right. I'm ready. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome. Um, today's a very special day because we have Maria, who's a graduate, to come share her story. So welcome, Maria. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Corey. Um, yeah. I, I'll just start out by saying, I mean, it just really warms my heart to have you here. And every single time, Maria is like, she is a tried and true. And I, I get so happy every time I see you come to the pool. It just Yay. makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun to be able to have this conversation and share it with other people. But well, let's start um, just uh, sharing a bit of your story. Like what, what was your swim story a little bit before you came to us? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I do want to say, I, I'm always really happy when I'm at your pool. So <laughs> I, I really am. For the minute I get there, the minute I leave, I, I'm just, it is just a happy place for me, which is far mm -hmm. from where I was before I started this whole journey. So, yeah. um, so my swim story is I come from a family of non-swimmers, um, even more than that, people that were afraid of the water. I, I'm a first generation American. I, I, both my parents were immigrants. Um, neither one of them could swim. Um, you know, I grew up not I'm from San Diego. I grew up in San Diego, so it's <laughs> odd to say I grew up not around pools <laughs> uh -huh. or water. And if I was around it, I always kept my distance. Um, I have two older siblings, and just none of us grew up with sort of that culture of, you know, enjoying the water. Um, and even more than that, being fearful of the water. So do you think... Um you were taught to be fearful of the water? I think so. I mean, I, I, I do have a memory of going to the neighborhood pool. Um, and I remember seeing everybody swim and, you know, all the kids having so much fun. And I think I was going to go take lessons and my mom changed her mind because she mm. was, she was afraid. I, I don't remember being afraid necessarily. Um, and I remember getting in a pool at some point on a vacation in Mexico and having like all the ladies in the pool wanting to teach me how to swim. And my mom was just uncomfortable. And, you know, as a kid, you sort of take on whatever your parents are broadcasting. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't remember necessarily being scared of the water. I just remember the fear around me um, having to do with water. Yeah, yeah. Which is logical for a parent who doesn't right. can't swim themselves and can't right. rescue their child and yes and I, and I've heard that from my mom because I've asked her now as an adult you know, mm. why why you know why didn't you teach your kids how to swim or why didn't you make sure we were safe in pools and and that was her response is I I didn't I would have been able to save you so how could I trust my babies to these you know teachers when I couldn't save you so totally. Um, it's all yes, about love. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, you, sorry, I keep kind of interrupting you. So you uh, didn't learn it as a kid because your parents didn't know how and they were mm -hmm. keeping you safe by keeping you afraid. Yeah. Um, yeah. It kept, and it did. You yeah, managed did. to grow up and didn't drown. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Here I am. 
<laughs> so what sort of, um, what made you say, okay, I, I'd like to do this or I'm curious about mm -hmm. this or yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's been in the back of my mind forever. I mean, like I said, I grew up in San Diego. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, most of my friends can swim and, and I was, it's been pretty much a lifetime of denying. I mean, cause the other thing was that I also, I, I lied a lot of my, most of my, my life, I lied about being able to swim. I, I didn't, I didn't say, yeah, I can swim, but I sort of, I, I had some shame around it. You know, mm. I wanted to, to hide the fact that I couldn't do something that everybody else could do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, also when you grow up sort of as a kid of an immigrant, there's already so many things that sort of make you seem different or weird. Oh. Um, and I, I think I, I thought not having the ability to swim, something I thought everybody, you know, every other American could do. Um, it was, it was shameful. So you, you kind of hide those things, you know, you want, as a kid, you just want to be like everybody else. Totally. Yeah. That's, that's so, interesting. I didn't know that piece of your story about yeah. your family, your coming from an immigrant family. And mm -hmm. I can completely see that you would be in the practice in your life of, and skilled about hiding things. Right. Oh, absolutely. Way. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, yeah. And I mean, this, I mean, this whole swim thing has been, um, you know, it's, it goes pretty, it's, it goes pretty deep for me. I mean, I, I kid that, you know, uh, I, I found your school and I also had some mindfulness practice, um, that I was familiar with and, um, you know, and my therapist <laughs> helped me get through this, you know, so this has been a really deep journey for me, um, mm. going back way into childhood. Um, so it's, it's been really interesting. I mean, it's been nothing but, but positive. Um, so yeah, so, um, so growing up with that sort of that little secret, um, mm -hmm. was really uncomfortable. I mean, shame is a really terrible thing to be carrying around. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so, um, I love to travel. And so there again was, you know, all these things that I couldn't do because I can't swim and living in Seattle, you know, there's so many things water related that I would love to do. And, um, and I just have always had to say no, you know, I went to Hawaii for the first time a couple of years ago. I had to say no to so many things and mm. to Mexico and to Cancun and I had to say no to so many things. It's like, God, I'm just, I'm missing out on so much by not being able to swim and not being able to, be comfortable in the water. So I started to look around and I did a lot of research online. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I research things. And, um, and I think I found your website and I thought, I don't know, this just seems like too much. <laughs> you know, mm. I, don't, I don't know if I can commit, you know, it's, it's a little expensive. It's, um, it's, it's quite a commitment of hours. And I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. So I signed up for a class at the Y. And this was probably, I don't know, I because I came to Orca in November 2018 is when I took the foundations class. Uh -huh. So it must have been maybe a year before that, that I signed up for a y, um, YMCA class to teach adults. And um, it was not a good experience. It, if, if I wasn't scared before, now I was scared after that mm. YMCA experience. Um, the water was cold, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> so I was fearful and I was cold and I think I was shaking the whole time. And they kept telling me to relax and there was just no way I was going to relax. Yeah. So, um, and I kept asking questions and they had no answers for me. You know, I didn't understand how my body worked in the water, how floating worked. I had so many questions. Mm -hmm. um, and the young instructor was not able to answer them. You know, they had, um, you know, they had little sayings that they used with the kids, which didn't work for me. You know, <laughs> right. you know I wanted to have an adult conversation about this, about what I was experiencing. So, um, I did go through all the classes and I felt like I learned absolutely nothing. Um, 
and really walked away even more fearful, I think. Mm, yeah. So, now, yeah. I wonder t to maybe, I don't know, put a silver lining on it. I don't know if that's sure. useful or not. But the thing that's occurring to me now hearing the story of, of your experience with the community center lessons uh -huh. is um, you said, I, if I didn't know it was fear before, I knew now, like, so it set some parameters around it. And, and it also, it's making me think, it gave you a space where the questions came forward, right? Mm -hmm. Like I mm -hmm. didn't, before you probably didn't even know you had those questions. Yeah. Right. right. And I would say part of the reason why the teachers there didn't have answers for you is because they haven't gone through the process to really say, mm -hmm. what are the questions? And so yeah. they didn't take time for the answers. But it can be hard for people when you're going into something so unknown, you don't even really know what your questions are. Right, right. So maybe that's something that you got from it. <laughs> yeah. No, I think so. I mean, I, I don't, maybe I never would have made it to Orca without that step. You know, I mean, it was definitely a step for me and I realized how yeah. scared I was and I realized um, that I, I, I had to get my questions answered because I, you know, I even spoke, to, you know, I spoke to my partner and it's like, he's a really good swimmer and you know, you'd have to sit and think about it and you'd go, well, I don't, I don't really know how that works, you know, and it's like, these are the things I want to know. Yeah. Or my life in danger, which is what it felt like to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I need to have some answers or some ideas around this, you know, right. I have to have in, in my brain, I need to have that idea before I can put my body in there. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so then I, you know, I continued looking at your website um seriously like over and over again i would go in and look and read everything and um and then i'd walk away for a couple months and i'd come back and look again and then i'd walk yeah. away <laughs> um but this is I, good this is you know we've been our new thing we're saying now um because we're just naming it out loud is that 80 percent uh -huh. of the learning is the mindset is yeah. the mental and only about 20 of it is the physical skills so i mean that yeah. is a great demonstration of it you were building yeah. the thinking and the questions and that's part of it you need to do that yeah yeah, yeah. and i you know and i always tell people you know I'm, I'm pretty slow about these things you know i mean like i said i think this has been a really big thing for me so um yeah i'm really slow but i mean once i start i i keep going <laughs> that's so. for sure <laughs> So, um, so then I think I, I signed up for the sort of video um, conversation with you, mm -hmm. and I remember that being really emotional. I, I may have cried a little bit. I think I told you I, I may cry. You know? Yeah, yes. Even just talking to you was like such a big step. It's like, oh my God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put myself out there to this person, you know, and um, somebody who knows how to swim, and I'm... I'm you know, I need to admit all these things. And that was really hard too. Yeah. Um, but um, again, it was, it was the right step because it led me to signing up to the class. Yeah. I knew mm -hmm. when you did that, I said, oh, she's going to get this. Yeah. You know, I just knew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. She's here. She's ready. <laughs> she's, she, her swimmer is, I can see it coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so so we did the the talk um, through the online Zoom thing, and then I I came in for a a private class um, mm -hmm. before signing up, and I remember that private class because it was mostly just us talking, and, and I guess that that is what I needed was I just you know I needed to get in the pool and see that you know a warm pool feels a lot better than a cold pool, <laughs> especially yeah. when you're nervous, and to just talk to you and that I mean that made a huge difference you know wasn't I wasn't as afraid I could take that next step and sign up for the class yeah 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 well there was also I I defined you I don't remember if you do you remember that I gave you a name yeah it was an IS uh yeah what did you it was a I ultra? said you mm -hmm. I I said you were an ultra beginner. Yes, ultra beginner. Yeah. <laughs> <My> own category. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not alone in it, as it turns out. That's why I had that name. <laughs> but um, yeah, it seemed like it was helpful to know that. 
at the time. Was it helpful to be called an ultra beginner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was because um, I, I, it felt like the expectation, like I could keep my expectations sort of manageable. And um, uh, I, I don't know if that's right, or maybe just be gentler with myself about mm. what, you know, if I couldn't do what everybody else was doing in the class, you know, how we compare ourselves to other people, right. um, that that was okay because I was an ultra beginner. <laughs> I, needed a, I needed more time. You know, I needed mm -hmm. um, extra time to do everything. Um, and letting myself have that was, you know, a really nice thing to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it's really about. We really do need to be gentle. You could, yeah. I mean, there's two roads. You can keep shaming yourself yeah. and blaming yourself right. and hiding, or you could just say, it is, this is what it is. Yeah. And I get to have all the time that I want or need and, mm -hmm. and it's okay. And yeah. that provided yeah. a good space. And every step of the way I've had to remind myself that, you know, when I went to this, the pool at Bellevue, um, the aquatic center at Bellevue, I, again, I was felt, you know, sort of the shame of not, not knowing how to swim and being around all these people that did. And, and so I've, you know, every step of the way I've had to just remind myself that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a beginner and I, I mean, this is, this is my journey. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna enjoy it. And um, I'm gonna learn, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's something wrong with being a beginner, right? Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, you wouldn't have any different expectation if you were, I don't know, learning French or something and you were a beginner. You'd be like, right. of course, all I can say is, is talk like a two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's where one, I'm thinking about myself. We're, we're planning a trip to Europe this year, so uh, do, I ta do I try and tackle some language <laughs> development <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> between now and then? But um, neat. Now, um, when you took the class and you were an ultra beginner in the class and you mm -hmm. did beautifully of letting yourself have your path, um, which was exactly the right path. And, um, everybody in the class, and I can't remember who your classmates are off the top of my head. I should have looked up the picture, but, um, everybody leaves at a different place. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And where, where did you leave off? Do you remember like skill wise and that sort of thing at the end of class? Yeah. Um, I remember when I left, I was still at the, um, I had my front float, um, was pretty comfortable with that. And, um, I was still working on the back float. Um, mm -hmm. that you, you were still spotting me, I think at that last, um, the last class. So, um, yeah, I still had a lot to learn um, afterwards, but I, I took that to the Bellevue Aquatic Center and I worked on my back float and I, I went um, once a week and um, I started in the little corner that's about, I don't know, two and a half feet. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I got the back float and I was so excited um, because I got it on my own. You know, yeah. I, I had at least that little, that foundation so I knew I wasn't. I wasn't going to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't going to drown. And, um, and I remember getting it, um, you know, at the aquatic center and really like sitting up in the water and laughing to myself because I thought, oh my God, I, I got this. You know, <laughs> and it was fun and I did it on my own. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I can't float on my back. You know, I was still um, trying to believe that. Um, and it was no longer scary. It was fun. Mm, yeah. So neat. <laughs> yeah. Now, I do want to backpedal a little bit on your, mm -hmm. so you left class yeah. and you had your front float. Uh, yes. It was still new, but you had your front mm -hmm. float, didn't quite have your back float yet. Mm -hmm. Now, this story I, I'd like to hear, or I'd like others to be able to hear how you approached, you made a commitment to going to the community center pool, the Bellevue Aquatic Center yes. pool. Yes. How did you approach that? Would you tell us that story yeah. again? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, I, I made the commitment because, um, because I, 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 I understood at that point that I just needed time in the water, um, that my fear would lessen. I would be, I just needed time. You know, I was thinking about all those kids that learned as children and spent hours, you know, in the water. 
Um, so I figured I, I need, I, need, I just need time, you know, even if I'm just puttering around. So um, I made the commitment to go once a week. And um, so I, of course I did my research online. <laughs> I tried to see as many pictures of the pool online so I could understand, you know, and I mean, again, not growing up with that, it's like pool culture. And I know you, I think you talked in one of our classes about that a little bit, sort of what to expect at a public mm -hmm. pool. And that was helpful because even I didn't, I didn't know that, you know. Um, so I did my research online. I called and asked them, you know, when are, um, when are the slower times? Um, I'm an adult. Is it okay if I'm in the therapeutic pool, the hot pool, the, warm, the warmer pool? And, um, and so that was all set. So then, so I, so I was still really nervous. Um, you know, I imagined myself walking in there and it just felt so horrible even imagining it. So I told myself, okay, I'll just, I'll go there and I'll see what it's like. And I don't have to stay if I don't want to. And, um, um, cause it just seemed overwhelming, you know, to me in so many different ways. So, um, yeah, but I, but I did pack my bag, you know, my swimsuit, my towel and everything. And I, so I went and there was a really nice lady at the counter and I told her I was, if I could just go in and check things out. And she said, sure. And I kind of, I told her, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a new swimmer, so I'm practicing. You know? So I kind of <laughs> shared that with her. Uh -huh. it made, me, made me feel a little braver. And um, I asked about the money. And so I, I did pay. I figured, okay, mm -hmm. well, this feel, oh, this oh, so far feels okay. You know, this is a nice woman. She didn't send me away or anything. Like, okay, swim. <laughs> You're not a swimmer. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, nobody stopped and stared at me. Uh huh. So, um, so I went in and I, um, um, I checked out the, the changing rooms, the lockers, right. And, um, and I kind of looked around and, you know, it's all, it's okay. This, this is okay. Also, you know, um, so I went, I walked around the, uh, the locker room and I went to check out the pool and okay. You know, and I was, and it was mostly at the time that I, um, can go with my work schedule. Um, there's a lot of seniors doing sort of water or aquatic exercise and mm -hmm. there's also some, um, therapy appointments there and the pool is really big and I thought, okay, well there's, I, you know, I think there might be room for everybody here, you know, so nice. Uh, yeah, so I did, and again, I just took it step by step. I went, okay, so I'll, I'll go figure out the lockers, and I had my little, you know, lock. Um, um, and so I put my bathing suit on, and you know, so I just every step of the way, you know, I just said, okay, it, I just gave myself permission every step. It's like, okay, if this is if this is too much for me for today, I'll just stop, and this this will be a win. Um, but you know, once it's like every little step, it's like, okay, I can handle this. I, I can do this. This, this is not so hard. I'm an adult after all. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can do uh -huh. this. It's like, I have been in lockers before, you know, so it's just every step of the way. It's like, I, you know, this is not that big of a deal. Um, and then, um, I made it to the, to the actual pool <laughs> <laughs> and I had my little goggles and my swim cap and, um, and I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I get in? Okay, you know, and um, and the how lifeguard. do you get into the pool, or how do you get into the pool room? How to get into the pool because it, it has um, it has the that really long ramp uh, ramp, yeah, which yeah. I hadn't really seen before. So I'm like, so do I just go and go and walk? I, you know, I was, I was yeah. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, and then the um, I was putting on my cap and the lifeguard you know young young man says something oh you might be looking for the the lap swim which is uh -huh. in the other pool i'm like no actually I'm, <laughs> I'm not and i'm like oh gosh okay but you know but I, you know at that point i'm like I, i'm committed you know i'm right next to the pool i've got my bathing suit on i've got my swim cap on uh -huh. Um, you know, if nothing else, I'm just going to go in and get out, you know, but now, again, isn't, isn't this interesting? Sorry to interrupt you good. that your thought is people are going to look at you and say, I know she's not a swimmer. 
And yeah. in reality, somebody looked at you and said, aren't you a lab swimmer? Don't you yeah. want to be in the really big pool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh God. No, that's not where I want to, this is where I want to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um so yeah, so I, I got I got in and you know the the water was wonderfully warm again, so that put me at ease a little bit. And um it is a big pool, so the I, I think it starts at about two and a half feet. So there's a really wide area of two and a half feet or that I had to myself and I thought, mm -hmm. hey, this I know how to do this you know I'd been in your pool enough that um and it no longer felt like a big you know like a new thing it's like okay I, I can do this you know so um so I stayed I stayed and um I went back you know I, I think for um at least about nine months I, I tried going every week mm. um, maybe not that long um I, once I got to the point where I wanted more practice on the deeper end is when I started trying to, trying to go to your pool a little bit more, um, than the Bellevue pool. Yeah. Since the Bellevue pool is all shallow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Now, um, I just loved it when you first told me the story. <clears throat> You said it to me a little bit different than you said it this time, but it still has the same essence to it. But you had said, I told myself all I had to do was drive to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> and I sat in the parking lot and I decided, okay, I did that. That was good. Now yeah. all I have to do is walk into the lobby. Yeah. 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 And I mean, even going farther back, probably just, you know, getting my, leaving my apartment and getting in my car. was, <laughs> You know, like every step of the way I was just... Yeah, but it's so great because you totally yeah. gave yourself permission yeah. to give yourself permission, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that really, that really worked for me, you know? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When it's, it's taking care of that mind where you were giving yourself places, distinct places to stop and to um, catch up with the mindset part of it, right? Mm -hmm. And to notice oh, the old things might be playing here, the old yeah. thoughts of I can't do this or shame or whatever the old thoughts are. And then it gave you a time to just stop and say, wait, what are the thoughts I actually want to be feeding my brain, which is I can do this step. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. 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 And that is something that I, I learned in your classes too, is the idea of those little steps. You know, everything that seems really big, if you break it down and start working on those little steps, then it's, it's much more manageable and it is a much gentler way of, of learning something. Um, uh, what was I going to say about the, yeah. oh, also another thing about, you know, when I finally got into that pool, you know, my, my brain was telling me everybody's going to stop and stare at the, the old lady that can't swim, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that in fact did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> nobody really cared. <laughs> nobody, nobody stopped and pointed. You know, and nobody cared. So it's like, oh wow, okay, I've got the whole this whole side of the pool to myself to just you know do what I need to do, and you know, yeah. nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny how we think our the thoughts that are going on yeah. in our head are what are yeah. other people's yeah. thoughts, and yeah. they're really they are just our own. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing about that is we can, if we made up those thoughts, we could make up other thoughts. We can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, and I did at some point start thinking, you know, I, I, I'm coming to this pool with a purpose. I'm here to learn how to swim. So, you know, get out of my way. <laughs> yeah. This is my pool. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to stop me. You know, this is, this is what I'm here for. <laughs> mm -hmm. So neat. So neat. <laughs> And <clears throat> did people ever ask you questions or start talking to you or anything like that over time? Or did you talk to people or? Yeah, you know, I, I had one, um, so I was in the sort of the deep end is I think about four and a half. It's a little bit under five feet. I, yeah. I think it's about four and a half. It's four and a half. I, mm -hmm. I think so. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm five, four or something around there. So I still am not under, I mean, I'm not underwater. I think my head sticks out on the, on the deep end, mm -hmm. but I was on that end. Um, 
practicing um, bobbing, you know, so I would, so I would, I was, or just trying to go underwater and I, and I had my, my goggles on. And um, so I just had my face in the water a lot because that for me is not something I needed to, you know, sort of practice. And, yeah. and maybe I was blowing bubbles or something. I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Um, but this, um, this older gentleman, um, I, don't, I don't remember how I asked him exactly, but he's like, you know what? Um, he's, I think he asked me what I was doing or why I was sticking my face in the water so much. And he said, you know, I don't, you know, am I, uh, you know, I don't know what you're doing, but I, I don't do that. Am I doing something wrong or am I missing something? And I said, I don't know. I don't think you are. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a new swimmer. So I'm still getting used to the idea of being underwater. So that's what I'm practicing. And, and I thought that was interesting because he was looking at me thinking maybe he was doing something wrong. And that's what I've always thought people are, you know, looking at me going, you know, she, she doesn't know what she's doing. So, um, yeah. And I, and I do notice, I mean, I, I think you brought this up, is that um, um, everybody, I don't think anybody there puts their face in the water, except for the little kids. Everybody just does that swimming with their heads, heads above the water, or, um, you know, no, nobody's, everybody's hair is perfect. <laughs> you know, they've got their dew and they don't get it wet. And uh-huh. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't really know how to do that. So it's like, okay, you know, it's, and to me, it's like, they know how to swim and I don't, and maybe they're looking at me going, they, they don't know how to swim and I do. So I, I don't know, so it's just, it was an interesting experience. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking in the uh, class I just finished up last weekend, we were talking about splashing Mm -hmm. and how everybody had this thought that splashing, there was something wrong with splashing and you're not supposed to Mm -hmm. splash. And, um, I don't want to try kicking my feet because it might be too splashy Uh or I'm too splashy. Uh And we were talking about it of like, why do people have this belief about splashing? And I think it really comes from, like you said, the kids are going under the water. And then there's Uh all these adults who truthfully are afraid to go under. They don't understand what it is to go under. They don't want, so they're they're trying to keep themselves dry. So they've gone around telling the kids, don't splash, don't splash. Yeah. Yeah. So there's this like message about not splashing and it's not because there's something wrong with it but it's because people don't know yeah yeah and 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 when there are kids in that pool sometimes there's little ones learning and they're having a blast (laughs) i I don't see the adults having a good time (laughs) kids are having the time of their life um and i you know and and i'll i'll you know I, i usually try to find a little corner um by myself um and you know, and I was playing with um, handstands and stuff. I've been having a fun time doing that. And I think I did try it a couple of times. <laughs> oh, cool. And then I would pop up and look around and just, you know, just, I, I kept, you know, they're probably thinking I'm crazy because I find myself laughing at myself, you know, uh-huh. and, and enjoying myself. Um, and I, I sort of, you know, kind of turn around <laughs> and just laugh because I'm having a really good time and, and nobody else is laughing in that pool. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's been fun. <laughs> That's so great. That's so great. Well, and the reason why I asked you if you did start talking to people or if anybody asked you anything, because I've heard this from people, who, other students who will say, uh-huh. um, I thought everybody was going to think I was doing something wrong or something like that uh-huh. or know that I'm a beginner. But then it turns out people started to really be curious because – I am having so much fun. Yeah. And so they're like, well, how come she's having so much fun? <laughs> I didn't know fun was available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I, yeah, now that I think about it, the adults are not, I mean, they're there to exercise. I mean, I, I, I understand. I think some of them are there for therapeutic reasons, but sure. Yeah, they, they don't look like they're having fun, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or maybe just a little bit of fun, not a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Not laughing to themselves. Like right. I have the <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. What an opportunity as an adult to be able to go and have fun. fun. Like that kind yeah. of fun. Yeah. 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 yeah and it, it really is. I mean, it really is. Once I get into it, you know, it really is a lot of fun. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So we'll pick the timeline back up. You finished okay. class. You were front floating, Mm -hmm. a little bit of back floating. You started going once a week and you said like for nine months or something. And then Uh you said, um, then I started, you started coming back to our pool because we had Mm -hmm. deep water. You wanted Mm -hmm. deep water. Yes. 
I and did. did. It's curious to me, or I think it might be curious to others, like, wait a second, how did you go from not back floating on your own to <laughs> wanting to be in the deep water? And we didn't hear that you took a whole bunch of more lessons in between there. Yeah, no, I think I had, I did take a, like the next, I don't remember what it was called. The, the, next, the next step, step. of yeah. what, foundation two now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did those, but I, I guess mostly it was, um, that a lot of, I mean, we talked a lot about being curious in the foundations class and, um, and that's what I, what it was, you know, I was trying different things in that pool at Bellevue and it's like, well, I wonder what it would be like, you know, in the deeper end or I accidentally started treading, um, at Bellevue. <laughs> uh-huh. In the and, shallow water. Um, in the shallow, yeah. In the four and a half feet or whatever. And I thought, well, well, wow, I mean, I wonder what it would feel like if I couldn't, you know? <laughs> um, so, so that's what kind of, I, it was curiosity. It, it, I wanted to see what it was like. And, and I remember in, in that, in those foundation classes, um, when we started, um, doing the, um, um, moving, right. Learning about our paddles and, and moving the water. And I remember um, how much fun it was on the shallow end. And then you had us move to the deeper end. And it's like, well, if I could do it in the shallow end, why can't I do it in the deeper end? And that, that was a big aha for me. You know, it's like, okay, sure. I, I, this works in the shallow end too. The water works in the same way. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, that curiosity, it's like wanting to, to prove it's like, okay, yeah, I, I I think I, I know this now, so I want to go to the deeper end and, and prove it to myself and to my body that this actually does work in the deeper end too. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so once I started coming to, um, to play in the eight feet of water, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, that was, that's just a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. And so I, I kept playing with the treading and just sort of, um, that's been sort of just coming along on its own and um that's been that's been really fun to just sort of learn and play with that also now here's the big question um just to make clear did you uh -huh. have to figure out the treading to feel safe in the deep water no 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 because i already felt safe with the with the back float and the front float um i mean i, I did all those things before and you know i could spin myself around and move around enough that I could get to the edge of the pool if I needed to, if I needed to rest. Um, yeah, so it's all the things. I felt safe in the shallow end, and as soon as it started practicing in the deeper end, I saw that it, it, this is no different, you know, and just as safe on this end also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just point that out, because I think, as you know, it's a really common myth. People think that you're supposed to in order to be safe in the deep end, you have to know how to tread okay. water. Yeah. Right. No. no. Yeah. And treading waters really comes out and, and it came out of you feeling so, so safe in the shallow end and knowing so much and following all that curiosity about just how yeah. things work. Yeah. It was a byproduct. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I just found myself cause I, yeah, I think I was practicing the bobbing up and down and, and finding sort of that, um, um, that vertical float mm -hmm. um, and then just be, I, I, you know, I'm naturally always moving my hands in the water, I guess. And, and stuff started happening and then I started kicking and it's like, Oh wait, I'm, <laughs> what I'm, is this? I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. nice. Yeah. It's neat to see when you come to the pool and practice, you spend little bursts of time treading and yeah. then, okay, it's getting a little tiring, or I need a break, or I'm, for whatever reason, then you go back to your swimming, your are yeah. floating, and um, quiet it down, and then come back to it, so, yeah. It's yeah, I, I found that works, uh, I mean, and, and also, that's what I learned in class, it's like, you know, do it for a while until it's no longer fun, and then do something else, and then come back to it, so, so I do that. I, I usually, when I go to the pool, I I have like a couple of things that I want to practice or a couple of things that I want to sort of investigate. <laughs> and then, um, and then I just, you know, want to roll around the water and have fun also. So I give yeah. myself time to do all those different things. Yeah. Yeah. It's a remarkable space, isn't it? Like 
you can move in ways that you don't on land and it's yeah yeah and um you know i, I keep i keep coming back to the, the somersault and and handstands because to me that's just remarkable i mean not growing up in the water um that i can do that with my body is still astounds me and it's joyful and um you know the idea of playing in the pool is just wonderful and i i just love it <laughs> yeah oh that's so good that's so good yeah <laughs> and <clears throat> yeah so a year later you're happily playing around in the deep end mm -hmm. totally mm -hmm. different person very very different yeah you know as i, I was thinking about um talking to you today i, I was I was um, thinking I have a hard time rem remembering what that mindset felt like to be that mm. afraid, um, which is interesting be um, because I lived with that mindset for so long, you know, most of my life. So now to be in a position to say I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have that, I don't have that fear. I mean, every time I, s I step into your pool, into your pool, I feel pretty confident that I'm, you know. I'm not going to drown. Um, mm -hmm. And I certainly never had that before. Um, and, you know, I know how to take care of myself. Um, you know, there's still a lot of things that I'm nervous about doing. Um, there's still a lot of things I want to learn, but uh -huh. I'm at a, I have at least that foundation to, to, um, to be able to step into a pool and enjoy it. Yeah. And, and anything that you want to learn next will follow the same process. Yeah. You know, so you could build on, I have the process, I've, you mm -hmm. know, um, and I know how to, to navigate it and to f figure out the system of it. Because um, that, like, taking the small steps, finding yeah. the questions, doing it in a way that you are able to hear the questions and bring them forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And take care of, you know, the mind, what's... Which direction yeah. is it popping off? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's a tremendous skill to have in, in anything in your life, right? Anything mm -hmm. you want to overcome or accomplish. Or, right, um, right. Yeah. Do you think it's had spillover effects into other areas of your life? Um, that skill set? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think in a way, because I've, I've done a, a, a lot of other work around this um, in my life, sort of getting over fears and obstacles and stuff, I, I think it was already there, but I didn't know I could fit swimming into that also. Mm -hmm. So I think, it, I think, I don't know, I think it's sort of, it can go both ways, you know, it, 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 it has helped, um, but I think I already had it there, it just... It was a matter of plugging and swimming. It's like, oh yeah, all of this, I can do all this with swimming also. It's, you know, this, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, it, the, the mindfulness portion of it um, has been very helpful. Um, the idea of breaking down into steps has been very, very helpful. Um, and the gentleness too. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that's that's worked so well for me with the swimming that I do I do try to be a little bit more aware of that in my daily life mm -hmm. is to just be a lot gentler with myself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We can all use yeah. that, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you know, one of the things that I love about the water, about working in the water, and kind of the reason why I asked that question is because. There are lots of areas in our life we might want to expand upon or improve upon or change mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and the water provides such feedback, such fast feedback to, mm -hmm. um, you know, when I'm mindful, there's a direct feedback correlation to it. Mm -hmm. um, and I have something really physical and tangible to work with on it yeah. um, versus, you know, I think meditation is great and mindfulness uh -huh. in that way is sort of great, but <clears throat> this is just a very tangible way of like putting it into action, putting that yeah. kind of skill set into action. So yeah. um, I, I do find myself, you know, when I get out of the pool, um, that I've been so present the whole time I was in there. I mean, the, all I thought of was the water and how it felt. And I mean, and that in itself is, 
I mean, that, that is like meditation, you know, or mindfulness um, is letting everything else go and just being in that moment of feeling the water and feeling your body with the water and um, yeah. paying attention to your breath. And um, I mean, I think that is one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Neat. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story yeah. and to inspire you know, inspire me at the very least. I'm sure it'll inspire others too. (laughs) I just, I find it's, I'm so fortunate to be able to work with you and people like you to see you take something where, I mean, I, you were so fearful. Yes, I was. (laughs) To totally be able to be so empowered to change that. And, um, you know, it all came from you and figuring it out in you and, um, and it's just inspiring for myself. And I mean, I don't have it for swimming, but I certainly, um, you know, I work on this in areas like with healthcare. I have a lot of fear that has to do with um, engaging in the healthcare community and yeah. um, some other areas too. Dance is one that I keep yeah. dipping my <laughs> toe into. And <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so you are a good inspiration for me. So I really well, appreciate you. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm finding, um, finding you in your organization and has been, has been wonderful. I mean, I, I just consider myself very lucky to have found you. And um, Thanks for listening. Are you ready to take some action? Three ways to the freeway. Subscribe, join a free webinar, get started online where we break down the steps making them simple and we support you along the journey so maybe you'll join us in hawaii jump on over to orcaswimschool.com